Hi guys, Nigel Farage turned up at the Tory party conference and I wouldn't be surprised if he had been invited. Because if you actually listen to what the extremists like Priti Patel or the so-called moderates like Jeremy Hunt had to say, if you closed your eyes you could imagine you were at a UKIP or Brexit party rally. So of course the former head of the Brexit party was only happy to give his opinion on what the Tories should be doing. Copying Nigel Farage. This has and still remains the case of a Farage tail wagging a Tory dog. Have a listen to this. The last time the Conservatives followed my lead on Brexit, look what happened. They won a massive majority. And on many of these other issues, things that I'm saying that may not be popular amongst mainstream media, may not be popular amongst, amongst gutless MPs in Westminster, actually these are the things that win in the country. Now I suspect it's too late for the next general election, but the party then will have to reset and get itself ready for the next one. Alright, so what do you want to hear? Well, I want to hear that it's a party that actually believes in business rather than penalising it. You know, I'm a huge believer that it's the millions of men and women that take risk, that set up their own business. That is where economic growth comes from. So our, tax cuts, you're looking for tax cuts? Our biggest single problem in this country, if you look at the growing budget deficit and all the problems, our productivity gap and everything, is we are not producing enough. That's what you want to hear. Yes. And if you don't hear it, what then? Are you tempted to get back in? Well, uh, if I don't hear it, and I, and I kind of, I suspect I'll hear a little bit of it, but they won't really mean it, you know, that sort of thing, uh, then they're doomed to a very, very big loss next time round. As for me getting back in, look, you know, it's all a bit early for that at, the, at, at this stage. Okay, I'm so never, not ruling it out then? You'd be a fool to rule things out for all the time, but it's not top, it is not top of my bucket list. Is that warning shot across the bow? Because you getting back into political fray, send shivers down a lot of MPs well, spines. All I would say to them is listen to me. I'm not wrong on these things. Ugh, he's a slimy individual. So he said at the beginning the Tories won an 80 seat majority because they followed his lead. To a certain extent he's correct. But if we turn our minds back to 2019 Nigel Farage also told the public that his party would win seats in the House of Commons and they would hold Boris Johnson to account on Brexit. Now, they had originally planned to field candidates in every constituency, I believe at the expense of the candidates themselves, um, but then that was cut down to about half, and they fielded candidates, it seems, in constituencies to help the Conservative Party. So an agreement took place between Nigel Farage and Boris Johnson that the Brexit Party would not really run against the Tories, they would help the Tories by running against the Labour Party. And, of course... You know, Brexit was a, was a hot-button issue back in 2019 and a lot of people voted for the Tories. A lot of people didn't vote for the, the Labour Party. And, um, and where there was a split, the, the Brexit Party helped the Conservatives a great deal. Not in every constituency, but in many constituencies. So when Nigel Farage said that back in 2019 he was going to hold Boris Johnson to account on Brexit, well, he was mistaken. Now... He's once again trying to influence the Conservative Party and he was asked about, well, you know, what do you want the Tories to do? And, he's, and he went to businesses. I want, to, I want the Tories to help businesses. <laughs> okay. Once again, it's a bit ironic because Farage back in 2019 wanted a harder Brexit than the one that Boris Johnson delivered. Boris Johnson's Brexit is imposing paperwork, bureaucracy, costs on businesses. Um, Farage wanted a harder one. Farage wanted tariffs. Now, there are some tariffs taking place um, and there are some probably coming in next year when it comes to batteries. But Farage wanted tariffs on everything, it seems, because he wanted a harder Brexit. He didn't want the Brexit that Boris Johnson delivered and then he supported it for some reason. But Farage originally wanted a harder Brexit, so one that would be more damaging to business. Now he's turning around and saying, uh, we, we actually need to help business. We need to be more business friendly. Um, how can a Brexiteer, the king of Brexit himself, be claiming that he wants to support small businesses in particular? Because when it comes to Brexit, the big businesses can get around a lot of these problems. They can throw money at the problem. Small businesses can't. We've seen many bus small businesses struggle. Some go to the wall because they can't export anymore in the same way as they could before. Um, the costs of exporting have gone up and the cost of importing have gone up. So unless you're a big corporation you know, you're really suffering because of Brexit. And you hear Nigel Farage come on 
and visit the Conservative Party conference and said that he wants the Conservatives to be more supportive of small businesses. And finally, does Farage want to get back into the game? Yes, he, he wants the attention. This is what Nigel Farage is all about. This is why he runs these, you know, these sideshows. This is why he's on GB News. It's about maintaining a level of, of attention from the public. And he loves this. He, this is why he went to the Tory party conference to see how the, the conservatives are following his lead in a sense when it comes to certain issues. And once again, he wants to be seen as some sort of figure on the right who will hold the Tories to account. If the Tories are moving too, too much to the left, <laughs> yes, imagine that, moving too much to the left, he'll be the one who'll pull them back to the right. Um, it's all about him and his attention. And it's quite sad. You have a party, a political party, who's running the country and they're looking over their shoulder constantly at people like Nigel Farage. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what do you think? As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.